It's worth remembering that the design process is not carried out in isolation. Compliance, design and manufacturing are interrelated. When you're so focused on the design, it can be possible to inadvertently design a product which is difficult to manufacture. This may not be a serious issue for small batches or for very high profit, low volume products, but it certainly is an issue for high volume, low profit production. Effective product development and design has to take into account manufacturing methods and limitations. This aspect of the project is called design for manufacture, sometimes just known as DFM. If design for manufacture is fully integrated into the design process, it produces higher quality and lower costs. Here are some things to think about when looking at design for manufacture. First, what materials are being used? Are there any possible alternatives? Next, how can you reduce the number of component parts in your product? The more parts, the more complex the manufacturing process. Think too about how you could minimize the assembly process. Again, the easier, the better. Finally, be careful not to over-engineer the product. Step back and look at what you're doing rather than get too involved in the detail. The design is important, but equally important is the ability to manufacture your product as easily as possible.